Welcome, man. All right, here's, um, here's the last problem I want to show you. And when you're dealing with angles, there's a couple things I want you to, want you to remember. All right, um, we can use angle properties or how angles relate to each other to solve for the value of you know, x or y. And here what makes this problem difficult is we have two different variables. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to have to see, can I combine my two variables to, e to um, equal one of them? And here's what I'm kind of looking at. Well, there's a couple things I want you to remember. And that marker doesn't work. When you have two angles, remember that add up to a straight line, we call these supplementary angles. And we also say that these two angles are going to add up to a straight angle, which we call 180 degrees. The next thing I want you to know is that when you have two angles that intersect, opposite angles are what we call vertical angles, and those are equal to each other. So by taking that in mind, if I have y and 2x, these are two angles that are opposite to each other of intersecting lines. Therefore, I can say y is equal to 2x. Now, this is very helpful for me because up here, this angle, the expression for this angle is y plus x plus 5. Well, that's, um, that's very difficult to understand if you're using two different variables. So I'm going to use this expression right here to plug it into this expression. So if I say that y is equal to 2x, then therefore, instead of writing y, I can write 2x plus x plus 5 is equal to this angle. All right? Then the next thing I want to understand is, well, remember I talked about 180 degrees. So therefore, I can now say that this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degrees because they make up a straight line. So 2x, which is that, which is your y, plus x plus 5 plus another 2x is equal to, um, is equal to uh, 180 degrees. I then, now, I'm going to want to combine my like terms, and I get 5x plus 5 equals 180. Then, my last step, what I'm going to want to do is now I just need to solve for x. So I subtract 5 from both sides, I get 5x equals 175, divide by 5 on both sides, and what I obtain is x is going to equal 35. So therefore, if x equals 35, remember, y equals 2 times x. So y equals 2 times my x, which I solve for 35. So therefore, y equals 70 as x equals 35. So the main important thing when solving this problem is to make sure you understand your angle relationships. And then whenever you have two problems, you know, we want to be able to use one equation to either substitute into the other equation to eliminate one of our variables. So I hope this helps you uh, understand how to solve the problem. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me anytime. We'd be more than happy to help you out or do any more problems for you. Have a good one.